Okay, as you can see, it's uh, pitch black. It's nighttime. I've just moved the uh, two colonies that I caught this year up to the mountain. I was just walking uh, back to uh, grab my gardening shears and a wild boar ran right in front of me. It scared the shit out of me, to be honest. Uh, I thought it might have got trapped in here after. I guess not. Okay, so just got to walk up to the mountain and uh, open the uh, hives up. There's open the uh, doors up so the uh, bees can get out in the morning. Okay, Whew. I'm really not a flat fan of coming up to the mountains at night. Uh, we don't have any, seriously, actually we do, we have a uh, poisonous snake that likes to live in this, these rocks. So, never put my hands down there. And those things like to come out at night too. Okay, so this is one and two hives, and what I bought my shears up for is to clip off some branches. Ooh, got a buzzing going on there. Okay, let's find some branches that don't have any thorns or aren't poisonous. Or spiders, or bloody caterpillars. Caterpillars is known, are known as Keimushi in Japanese. K meaning here, and mushi is for insect. So basically, hairy insect. Uh, these ones, they uh, apparently make you come out in red welts, but I've tried many times and they don't affect me. So, yeah, okay, let's find some trees. Watch where I'm stepping. Uh, this should be good. There we go. Too thick. One. But uh, Japanese honeybees seriously don't like to be moved. The general rule is uh, three, three. Three meters. So under three meters is okay. And the other one is over three kilometers is okay. Anything in between there is a bit of hit, hit and miss. So what I do is my colonies are actually just over, over there. Of course you can't see because it's black and dark right now. So what I do is I place a branch with a lot of leaves outside of the entrance. And then when the bees come out in the morning, they check. Where they are, because obviously they notice that something has gone wrong. And the other thing I do is I place the entrance the opposite way it was at the last place. So of course the position of the sun is different. And so far I've had pretty good success with this. I know in the morning when I wake up and... Uh, if there are bees, oh, just swallowed an insect, that did not taste good. Um, if there are bees at the uh, entrance, or should I, at the, uh, if there are bees at the uh, last place where, where the uh, hive was, then we're in trouble. Okay, so we'll just move this now. I hate doing this because sometimes the bees come out. Okay, that was good. And one more. Okay, go, got away with that getting stung. As you can see, this move failed. Bit of a bummer. Um, these bees I'll put into a uh, pet bottle and I'll take them up at night, put them back in the hive. Hopefully they won't come back tomorrow. Let's go and check the other hive. Well, this one's doing better. Less bees have come back, but these are obviously pissed. 
You see they've got pollen on their legs, so they've actually gone out for foraging. They haven't checked where their new hive is before they've gone out. Not too sure if I can move these ones back. Okay, so as you can see, these guys um, didn't move so well. Um, still half the uh, colony is up at the mountains, but uh, all the uh, foragers came back here. So I'm going to move them before it's dark. And hopefully, hopefully, if things work out right, they won't come back here. Okay, this is going to be either a big mistake or a great success. There's no in-betweens. Now the box is working a little bit better. I'm getting...